It's Foxy Moms Fitness Monday. When's the last time you did a boot camp workout? From kettlebells to TRX, our friends at Altitude Performance and Science Center recently showed me the diversity they offer during their boot camp classes. Back here at Altitude Performance and Science Center, this is Collis, one of the coaches here, and we just witnessed a boot camp, yep. which is very popular, right? Yeah, yeah. Why is it so popular? Oh, uh, because it gives everyone like a, a mix of different exercises and weights, and like you never know what to, what to expect. So boot camp is like a very overused term, but you know everyone, you never know what to expect. Everyone has their own different style of teaching it. And it's kind of interval training in yes, a way, right? Yes, yeah. You time the different stations, mm -hmm. and then you move on to something else. What, mm -hmm. Why do that? What are the benefits of doing it that way? Um, I do the 30 second intervals because it gives you an opportunity to kind of push yourself. All right, and then obviously the circuit training, I give you a certain amount of reps and you shoot for that goal. But also it gives you like that way of kind of reaching that anaerobic training and just, you know, continually pushing yourself, pushing yourself, pushing yourself. What different exercises were, were taking place during this last class? Oh, uh, let's see. Last time we did uh, overhead kettlebell swing. Okay. Um, we did a Bulgarian split squat. We also did some high knees to work on the uh, aerobic part. Uh, Push-ups, we did some muscle-ups in the TRX, we did some wall climbs. Tell, tell us about this TRX and what it is. The TRX, all right. Well, TRX is basic suspension training. Uh, it's a good way to kind of modify exercises, but also help you do things that you normally can't do on your own. So, for example, one-legged squats are hard or difficult for some people, even getting in a full squat, but it gives you assistance of the arms as well. All right, so we're holding on to these contraptions. What are yeah. we going to do? Uh, we're going to do, well, everyone has a different name. I call it the catapult. Okay. All right, it's for the legs and the quads. Okay. So basically, you're fully su uh, suspended. Okay. Let's go underneath your armpits. And if you swing side to side, we're weightless. Good. Weightless. So you feel safe <laughs> okay. now. Yeah. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a squat. We're going to do a quarter squat. We're going to have our butt go back. Just throw it a 45 degree angle. almost like a catapult. And then you're going to launch yourself forward. Hips come forward. Good. Just like that. Okay. All right. Good. Nice and easy. And if you should, you should feel in the front of your leg, the quad. Right. Good. Remain on the balls of your feet. It's a weird sensation because mm -hmm. this is not normally yeah, good. how you would move, right? Yep. So this is like so this is what the T-Rex is good for. And then obviously uh, a progression would be to kind of hop up, hop back. Oh wow. Yep. Good and hop back. Good. There you go. See? <laughs> kind of work your way up to it. Okay. Good. Ah! Well, they'll come back. <laughs> The boot camp, um, you offer classes every day of the week. Right? Every day is a boot camp, yep. Okay, and, and how often should pop people maybe incorporate a boot camp into their workout regimen? Um, you know, two, three times a week. Like I said, we have a variety of coaches here, so we all have different styles. So you'll never get bored with one. But again, it depends on how many times you want to be in the gym. But, you know, two, three times a week would be fine. And it works out your whole body. Whole body, yeah, total body. Well, every Monday morning, we give you workout advice and nutrition tips to keep you healthy. And you can learn more by logging on to altitudeperformance.net. 750, we will be right back.